Why are they in Paris? Probably like eating snails. They're considered a delicacy there, you know. Who are we to judge? I mean, what are they doing on Earth? I knew what you meant. Just trying to lighten up the sense of impending doom. See? This is what Jimmy should be spending his time monitoring and telling me about. Not some space storm that's millions of miles away. Come on! museum's on the other side of this river. You've got to find a way across. I heard Vilgax lives in a van down by this river now. <laughs> Alien forms have the ability to grab onto ledges and strafe from side to side. So press jump whenever you're near a ledge and see what happens. create a high-pressure liquid blast to move objects. Hold R2 and press the circle button to use his water pressure ability. objects from a distance with Swampfire's fireballs. Hold R2 and press the circle button. Don't stand too close though. Don't want to get hit by your own blast. Fire. Use energy to get through this perilous area. His hazard suit should protect you from all the dangerous heat and radiation. At least I think it should. Maybe.
you can defeat those snipers with just your normal attacks. I wonder if there's something in the environment you can use. Energy has the power to melt through some metal objects. Hold R2 and press the circle button to activate his radioactive blast. Hey, don't point that thing at me. Use energy to melt the light bulb. Why look, it's a conveniently placed truck. Try blowing it up, why don't you? before you can continue.
platforms sure look unstable. Don't stand on them for too long. such as ourselves. Yeah, cause you're not what we call Sophist and McCady. <laughs> I'm here for that artifact you're stealing. Hand it over. We hear it, it's real valuable, right? And we ain't the only bounty hunters what's come to Earth looking for it. Who else is here on Earth after that thing? Now we got no choice but to smash you up real good, Ben Tennyson. Thanks for retrieving the artifact for me, and I appreciate you taking care of those other bounty hunters as well. It's not for you! Give it! <laughs> and why would I do that? This little beauty will fetch a good price in the intergalactic black market. Do you even know what that thing is? Don't know, don't care. All that matters is how much it's worth. This can't be happening! Welcome, people, and once again, that menace to society known as Ben 10 wreaked havoc on poor, unsuspecting citizens like you and me. They're just trying to earn an honest living. Only this time, the destruction wasn't limited to our United States. Oh, no, no. Outside the borders, people. And this footage provided us by a reliable source who has to remain anonymous. You can clearly see for yourselves that Ben Tennyson has turned his wave of destruction against our longtime allies, Italy and France. Ben 10. Threat or menace, people? You decide. Give me a break.
way across. You're gonna have to find a way to make a bridge. Try turning on the gas. You might be able to blow another hole through the wall. Must we always be so violent? Yeah, you should try talking to the wall first, Tennyson. Then blow it up. Only now it's blocking your path. See if you can get it to fall down. something that belongs to me. I believe you're mistaken. I recall seeing you steal this from those Cretans in the museum. Oh, it seems you're no better than I am. I'm impressed. I wasn't stealing anything. I was recovering an artifact that was already in the process of being stolen. <laughs> Repoing it from the repo men? Sure. Why am I even arguing with you? Now I'll give you one more chance. Give it to me, or... Or what? This thing's worth way too much dough. Just try and take it away from me if you dare. Over here! Hey, Save us! You've gotten in my way for the last time, Ben Tennyson. Take this!
Enjoy the view while it lasts. Enjoy the view while it lasts. Attention, plumbers in Alpha Niner Tango, come in. Still can't get through? You'd think they'd want to know about all these alien bounty hunters showing up on Earth for some reason. Plumber communication channels are completely full of chatter. Let me see if I can hone in on what they're all so chatty about. <gasps> no! We've got to get out there and do something! Once again. Bearer of the Ultimatrix, the burden of protecting your entire planet lies with you. Azimuth? What are you doing here? Uh-oh. You must be in trouble, Tennyson. Indeed. But not with me. With him. Who is it? A creature so powerful that even the Ultimatrix I created may not be enough to protect the Earth against it. We need to round up all the plumbers in the galaxy. Form a protective brigade around the Earth. So they can fall, just as their noble comrades before them? No. Then what? There may be a way to temporarily enhance the power of the Ultimatrix. Great, do it! I cannot. But perhaps my ancestors can. I was not the first of my kind to pursue an interest in the sciences that led to my eventual creation of the Omnitrix and Ultimatrix. Eons ago, my scientific ancestors, the ancient Galvan, created a device they dubbed the Potus Altiari for its amazing power-enhancing abilities. But power often corrupts. So, my people hid the Potus Altiari, the one place in the galaxy they knew it would be safe from any attempts to use it for evil. Earth. Because you knew ancient Earthlings had noble hearts, and would only ever use it for good. What planet have you been living on? We chose Earth because it's such a backward planet that even if the Potus Altiari were discovered, you primitive Earthlings wouldn't have any idea what to do with it. Now, where was I? Oh yes. Upon entering Earth's atmosphere, the Potus Altiari was torn asunder. 
Earth's peace falling like a meteorite to a different point on your planet's surface. Huh. Reminds me of the Omnitrix crashing here back when I was a kid and found it. You Galvin sure are obsessed with sending your top tech to Earth. Kevin? What? I can't be the only one thinking it. Ahem. For centuries now, each piece of the POTUS Altiari has been affecting the lore, landscape, and even the locals themselves in each of the areas of your world where they land. How could the Earthlings, I mean people there, never have noticed? Perhaps they noticed something. But being primitive as you are, attributed the phenomena incorrectly. Weather balloons. Crop circles. The POTUS Altiari can give you, Ultimatrix Bearer, the power you need to defend the Earth from the approaching threat. But where do we start looking? The pieces could be anywhere. Some place with weather and crops? Well, that narrows it down. How is it you came to have a piece of the POTUS Altiari? We thought it was just some dusty old alien artifact. The Vredel brothers and Sunder were after it in Paris. Can I touch it? Enoch had another piece just like this one when I was fighting him back in Rome. Probably super enhanced his powers from being around it for so long. So you have two? Excellent, Ben Tennyson! Uh, that one's still in Rome. What? I didn't know! I only kept this one because all those bounty hunters in Paris were so interested in it. Figured it must be important. You figured right. You must return to Rome and retrieve that piece immediately. We already know where that one is, and Ben took care of all the bad guys around it. Better go try to find the others first. Yeah, before that cosmic cloud guy gets here and finds out about it. Not a concern. The existence of the Potus Altiare is known only to the Galvin. And now you. A cosmic storm. Ben? One of the aliens you can turn into is a species that's created in cosmic storms. A Toku star. Azimuth, it's not... It is.